Today I'd like to do a fitness rant. Just things I've heard this week that I think are pretty interesting. Every once in a while I'll get asked by people, or at least people will say this to me. They'll see someone, let's say in a magazine or just on the YouTube or somewhere on the web, and the question is, always, they always say, hey, uh, hey, I don't, I don't want to get that big. And I always think that's pretty funny because there's only a certain percent of the population that can ever get as big as a pro bodybuilder. Uh, you know, I've been training for 30 years and I'm nowhere near as big as some of the pros. I've seen some of the pros in person. Some of those guys are just flat out huge. So I always find that pretty funny. But the strange thing is you don't know how big you can get until you start lifting, until you apply your effort towards it. So to say you don't want to get that big seems kind of weird because you don't know if you will or won't get that big. So I always thought that was interesting. And usually when people say that to me sometimes, especially they're usually pretty small people, you know, not very big at all. And I'll usually look at them and say, well, uh, you probably won't. You probably don't have to worry about that. There's just a small part, percentage of the population that can get that big. And I, don't, I don't think you you have to worry about that. And usually that gets a strange reaction from them. Like I don't know if it offends them or if if I said something wrong. But I do think it's kind of funny. It's just something about me. Um, the next thing the next thing I always get is uh, lifting weights will make you slow. Well, you know, that is true. Lifting weights will make you slow if you don't do anything that involves speed. So if you're not a track runner, yeah, you're going to be slow. You're going to be slower than a person that does run track. Uh, that's generally true. If you don't run anything or do any kind of cycling or anything like that, yeah, you're going to be slow. You're going to be just as slow as someone, the average person. I always find that interesting, people that equate that having... Um, Extra muscle mass will make you slow. What happens if you have extra muscle mass and you're actually stronger? Wouldn't stronger muscles make you a little bit faster? Or if you were a skinny person and you got stronger, wouldn't that make you faster? I just, I sometimes just don't understand people's logics. It's just like when, it's just like when I talk to my dad or people that have been lifting for, you know, 50 plus years, they tell me when they first started, uh, they were in high school and the thing was, hey, in football, that's American football, they would say, hey, lifting weights will make you will make you slow, muscle bound, and so forth. Yet what they used to do back then was uh, constantly eat, usually get bigger, and uh, the, I hate to say it this way, but the overweight kid was considered the football player. Nowadays, particularly in America, and I'm sure it's a, that way around the rest of the world, if you see a football player, all of them lift weights, all of them are pretty athletic looking, muscular or athletic looking, and you pretty much don't really see too many overweight football players. All of them are encouraged to do their, their workouts, do the running, sled work, everything to get in shape. It's amazing how times change. Anyway, that's just a small rant, and I think this is a series that I will... Uh, continue and just you know make a video every once in a while of rants if you have anything you would like to discuss or rant you think we should make a topic about ranting together put your comments below and i'll make a video on it and we can talk about it thank you for watching